Hi guys, and welcome to Finish It Friday, episode 34. So glad you could make it. Let's get down to the stamping surface, and let's get to today's card and finish it up. Okay, so here's where we left off on Wednesday. So we have your base layer, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. This is in a new moody mauve color. We have a layer. I'm using um, cardstock, which you can use cardstock or DSP. I'm going to use basic white and we're going to do a stamping technique on the back. Um, we have three different basic white or very vanilla layers and those are two by one and a fourth. We have three different colors of cardstock that are two and an eighth by one and three eighths so it's just an eighth um, smaller than that. Then we have scrap for sentiment. Now I got my new catalog items yesterday. Now I didn't get as much as a lot of the people, but I did get quite a few. So this is what I did end up purchasing. These are either, oops, that's my cleaning pad. These are either um, standalone stamp sets or stamp sets that have dies with them. I also got some standalone dies, some embellishments. some blends, some uh, designer series paper, that new, oh, this is so gorgeous. This is the pecan pie ribbon. And I only got one new punch this time. I didn't get this, I didn't get the bundle. I just got the circle punch. All right, so I didn't get as much as a lot of people, but I got enough for me. All right. And what we're going to be showing you today, because I can show you the, inside the catalog now. So these are my two, well, so, two of my favorite pages. Um, I have a lot that I like in here, but page 67 is what we're going to use today on today's card. It's called Timeless Arrangements, and it is a bundle. Uh, and then I'm, I've also, on the very next page, page 68, I've also, of my other examples that I'll show you. All right, so that's what we're getting to today. All right, so I am going to, I think, stick with the three colors. Let me get Moody Mauve and let me get uh, Balmy Blue because those are the colors I've used here. Sorry, I am sniffing a lot today. Another bad sinus day in good old Chicago land. We're going to use these for the background. All right. So let's put this off to the side. Let's put these pieces for now off to the side. And let's just concentrate on the background. All right. So from this set, there's a lot in this set. I love this little background. I love this little background. So we're going to be using those today. So let me get out a couple little blocks. I think I probably could get these both on small blocks. Yes. So there's one. And there's the other. So this I'll do in the darker colors. This I will do in the lighter colors. So for me, the darker colors are these two and these. So I'm going to do these circles. And that's why I head out my little cleaning mat. I also need to have out my piercing. I'm going to turn it upside down because that's pretty busy. Um, I also have my piercing mat. You know what? Maybe I should get out a different one because I'm afraid of having edges on there. So I'll use this one that's not as busy used. I need to replace those. All right. So let's go ahead and let's take the circles. And let's just, and this is the parakeet party. And we're just going to kind of go around until we have no color left. Kind of doing our triangles. All right, so that's enough for that color. Let's clean it off over here. All right, I'm trying to get used to opening it that way, but just can't. It's not as 
it's awkward for me. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one. I don't know why I stamped that off once. Let's see. Let's get a dark down here. The balmy blue doesn't really allow you to do three. Oops, that's not good. Three different uh, generations. It kind of gives out after one. Huh. Let's see. I do think I'm going to just for a little more variety. I do think I'm going to use the fresh freesia also with this and just use the moody mauve with this one. Clean it off then. Make sure. Let's bring in fresh freesia. So I want to fill in some of those gaps there. That's looking a little bit better. I'm going to get some lighter over here. All right. That's going to be it for my background. Oh no, it's not. I'm going to put a couple of these in. This is that new color, Moody Mauve. I'm just going to put a couple in a little bit darker. Let's see how that looks when it's stamped off once. Oh, it looks really nice when it's stamped off once. All right. So much for the background. Color. Get that. All right. Put those over there. All right. So here's my background. So then let's go ahead and come over here. Get out my I'm sure I have one on the desk somewhere. We'll just grab one out. Make sure which way it opens because I'll show you my examples, what I did on one of them. Hilarious. All right. So now let's go ahead and grab these three. I'm going to do these in each of the colors. And I'm going to be using these. So I'm going to be using this one, this one, and this one. Look at all those good sayings too. I love how this is one stamp, just can't blank enough. So there it's like thank you enough, um, love you enough. Just really, that's fun. All right, so let me go ahead and grab out a couple of these size. Do I have one more that same size? No, I think I have to go to the next bigger size now. All right. All right, so the leaves, of course, I'm going to do in the parakeet party. Oh, you know what? I didn't. I hope these stamp okay because I didn't wipe off the finishing. All right. Then I have this one and this one. So I think I'm going to do. This one in the balmy blue. You know, it's hard when you open stamp pads one way for a couple of years to change. And then we'll do I don't like how that looked. Let me go over. Let me get a little more. Fresh freezer might need to be re-inked. There we go. And I could have used Highland Heather. In fact, I think this is Highland Heather. It is. That's Highland Heather. All right. It'll be close enough. It's close enough in color that... I noticed that I had stamped in Fresh Freesia and it's Highland Heather background, but 
We don't need to be perfect, do we? So I'm just layering these on the coordinating cardstock. All right, let's bring it over here. So on this one, I'm going to lay these flat. This one, I'm going to pop up. I know I'm using a lot, but when I'm near an edge of a card, because that's where you're going to be opening this a lot, I like putting on a lot more of the dimensionals just because of the wear and tear it's going to get on that side. Now I'm going to be ending up covering up most of those little dots, but that's all right. Do I want to do it there or do I want to do it over? I think I'm going to do it just a little bit over that edge. All right. And then let's go in here and let's do All right. So let's go ahead. Oh my goodness, my eye. All right. I'm going to do I just can't thank you. I'm going to put this on there. This is going to be my scrap, remember? And then I'm going to go ahead and grab out my memento. I'm go ahead and get that off the block. Yeah, I'm a little low. Not a big deal. All right. And I don't have, let's see. Let me go ahead. I think I'm just going to do, no, I'm not because I can't cut straight. Let me grab out my cutter. I'm going to get that so that. I don't feel like that's straight either. All right. And I do need a new blade. I have to change that right after we get done with this. Let me go ahead and grab one of my blending brushes. You know what? No, I think I'm just going to put this in the edge, tilting it a little bit towards me so you get a little bit of that line. You got to be careful. This is a brand new pad, so it's very juicy. And then let me go like this. Let me grab, do I have a piece of typing paper? There we go. Just rub around that on the back side. Get off a lot of that extra ink. go and I'm going to lay this flat on there there you are again I'm going to go down just a little bit I'm really afraid since it's a brand new stamp pad that there's a lot of extra ink on there all right and there you are. Let me move 
pull this off to the side put my lids on so I know where they are later all right so there you are episode 34 here's our card using the new set timeless arrangement let me show you I am going to do a walkthrough of these two on um either Saturday and Sunday some of these just show you them but let me show you because this one I really really liked I was on the fence about this even though I love words I have a lot of words but this die set the matching die set sold it for me because look at these oh my gosh I hate how they're taped down let me look at that so you'll go over a piece of cardstock like this cut it out right and then you make your square around there for your sentiment and here's all your little squares see how you can do that so fabulous so fabulous all right so you have quite a few of those that have that border look so that is the matching die to the stamp set we used today oh I think I put that back the wrong way I'll rearrange it on my magnetic sheets anyway so it doesn't matter all right sorry about that I digress all right so here's the one we just made today here is the inspiration this is a swap I got from Suzanne Butts don't know how many years ago it was this was a fun summertime this is the marble background so you take a stamp case uh, one of the older ones that's thicker and you put marbles in it you throw in a few reinkers and then you roll it around um, what I did was on the lid let me see if I can find what I had let me look over here oh my goodness all right so I can't find it right now but I have somewhere in and I'm rearranging things because not rearrange things I'm moving out the old colors bringing in the new bring in the new sets all that but yes so what you would do is you would take the stamp case and you know what I really thought I'd save it off to the side here ah, anyway all right so you put your inkers in the bottom you put the marbles you put a little bit of adhesive on the lid stick your cardstock on the lid turn it upside down and run the marbles around I'll find it I'll show you on a future video but this was the inspiration all right so here's what I've made so here's another one this is using that uh on page 68 this is that uh not darling details this is yeah darling details oh my gosh I'm learning them already so what I used today was the timeless arrangement but a lot of these examples I use the darling details all right again I love that stamp set because of this little fringy stamp and the frames I'm a sucker for frames all right and then I also used adhesive back sequence trio so in all the little oranges whatever those are I put the little embellishments all right the one here I use the blending brushes just to do that light background behind the coordinating color And here this is the one that I did wrong see always look how your cards opening before you create it this is using DSP that's retired in the background and then this was using a different stamp set this is using oh so refreshing which I was on the fence about this one getting it but again it has a die with it that's like a blanket like a picnic blanket again I'll run through that all sometime this week and hopefully get those so that's what I did all using the same squares the same cutouts but just rearranging them in different ways to make different card bulk points 
All right, guys. So that's it for today. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I have my new 35-year shirt on. This also came yesterday. Celebrating 35 years with Stampin' Up. Now, I will just be at 25 years. I'm not at 35 years. I did not start with the company. I came in a little bit you know, into it. But anyway, thanks for joining me on Finish It Friday. And I hope to see you this weekend on another one of my videos. Take care. I think the batteries in my mouse died. All right, just a minute. Here we go. All right, bye, guys.